Hi and welcome to another episode of Now Dive TV. Uh, I'm standing here with a reel and this episode is going to be a short episode about the three pitfalls um, you might not necessarily think about when using a reel or when getting a reel for the first time. This is a new reel, I'm preparing it for a customer and the first pitfall is that it's wound up the wrong way. As you can see when I wind this up the line is actually going out of the reel. And Personally, I like to wheel it in as if you were rolling it all over the bottom towards your exit. Um, so we're going to have to reel it all off and start the right way around. So when we wheel it in, it's going the right way. Um, as you know, we like to keep our light in our left hand. And when we reel, the reel is in our left hand. That way the work, the wheeling work is done with the other hand, keeping the light more and more stable. So I'm going to wheel it all out and wheel it back in at the right way. Pitfall number two is probably what I'm gonna encounter at the end of this line. At the end of the line, it might be a simple knot, if even it's tied on. What I'd like to do is I like to create a loop, just the same loop as it is in the beginning, or at the end of the spool, at the beginning of the line. So a loop that is big enough for the reel to pass through with a woody on the end so it's easier to work with that way, if I ever come into a situation where I have to extend this line, I have a loop at the other end. So that's looped to the base of the spindle and then just wheeled up. So that way you can have a piece of string um, laid out with a loop on either end. You can use it to fix a line or place a permanent line. You're going to just leave there. So that's pitfall number two. Pitfall number three is a rare one, but it can happen. Um, if somehow the line becomes looped on itself like this and it's kept on winding up and somehow it's, it, it can happen with, with new reels when the line is really tight in between itself if you, if you know what I mean. Like the line is really tight, it's almost hanging like you can see here right now. See it's hanging on itself, see if, I, if you can see this, because it's tight inside. Now, if this happens and you just keep wheeling and keep wheeling, you're not noticing, or if a teammate does it and you're not noticing this, um, what can happen if you wheel out, look what happens. You wheel out and you keep a nice line tight, and it's nice and tight like you taught, like you were taught, and all of a sudden you come to that point where the reel goes the other way around, and this is going to happen. Look, one, two, whoop. All of a sudden a, a bunch of lines spills out and obviously the more windings you have the wrong way around the more lines going to spill out so it's going to go poof all over the place and which is not nice um, especially when you're needing this to do a tie off or you know in the beginning of the dive so those are the three pitfalls the, 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 the string the wrong way around the loop not tied properly at the base of the uh, the core of this of the spool of the reel itself same thing goes for spools, by the way. Or the line being double looped the other way around halfway through. So make sure you check these things before you set off with your brand new reel. I got about 120 meters to reel out and reel back in again. But we're doing some tri suit fixing, so I got some time to wait. Anyways, I hope you like this little short little video about the reel. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you can figure out or if you can come up with some kind of real scenario, <laughs> pun intended, um, that, uh, that might have a good tip for using of, uh, of reels underwater, um, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, oh yeah, please subscribe and share this video. It's a popular thing to say at the end. Anyways, see you out there and uh, stay safe guys.